Hey guys, this is Steven here with a review on a puzzle app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android. This one is called Crossapix from Conceptus. It's very similar to a Picross puzzle, but it has a slight twist to it. Personally, I played it on my iPad as I feel the phone screen would be a little too small, but they do have a function where you can zoom into different regions and uh, move around. So uh, how this works is each cell is going to have to be shaded in or left unshaded. And the numbers outside the grid indicate how many shaded cells exist in that given uh, column or row. The regions must either be all shaded or all unshaded. And what's uh, tough and challenging about this is the regions expand over multiple rows or multiple columns. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is do an example puzzle for you guys so you can kind of see how it unravels and share some common tips or tricks that will hopefully make it easier for you to solve them yourselves in the future. So the first place that I typically start is looking for the smallest clues uh, that have large regions in that row or column. So this one, for instance, is a great place to start because you can cancel out all of the regions that are more than one cell wide. Uh, so right, if I shade this in, that, that would break this clue. So any of the two uh, or more wide regions, we can um, put a dot or pencil mark saying that those are not shaded in. So you can see that that uh, is a great place. It's already filled in a bunch. And then another thing to consider is if the regions are odd or even in length and what the clue number is. So this six is an even number. So if we think about it, this one cell over here would be an odd lot, right? You know, if you, to make six, you'd have to have an even number of shaded cells. And if you have just these two regions, uh, you know, I don't know how you would make six with this odd cell here. So we know that this is not shaded. Uh, and so that's helpful. Another thing to consider is don't just count the number of shaded cells, but also the unshaded cells. So with this being a 15 by 15, we know like for the large numbers, here's an 11, it might be easier to find the four unshaded cells rather than the 11 shaded cells. So that's something to keep in mind. And then lastly, um, for the tougher puzzles, you may need to see how filling in one square affects the neighboring rows or columns if it spills over. Right, so let's say, for instance, you had nine shaded cells in this 10 row, uh, you know, but not these two. If you were to shade in one of these, it would spoil the clue above it because you can see how it spills over to the row above it. So those are all things to consider when doing a cross of picks. I enjoy this one a lot. I think it is probably one of the more challenging uh, apps from Conceptus. I think uh, a lot of the other ones are a lot easier. I do find myself struggling a bit with this one. These take me a little bit longer, but let's go ahead and try to finish this one off. Um, you know, if we then look at the, um, from here, this, uh, let's see. If we consider this nine clue here, right? Um, if we think about it, six unshaded cells exist. We already have four of them filled in, so we just need two more unshaded cells. This is a region of four, so this can't be unshaded because otherwise we'd have eight unshaded cells and there wouldn't be enough room for the shaded one. So this has to be filled in, and that's a huge region, so that's going to be really beneficial for us. Um, and I think that's all we can do here because we need five more shaded cells. Uh, there's seven, un you know, seven unknowns here, so I don't think that's enough information to figure that one out. Let's move on to the uh, eight. So we have three. Um, eight's an even number, so we need five. We're gonna need one odd region. These are all two regions, except for this one. This one needs to be filled in, because there's no way to make five without the one. So we can fill that one in. Um, don't think we can do enough with the, we need four more shaded to get the seven in this row. Um, and there are enough once areas to make that an even number, so we can't do anything there. Uh, let's see, if we look at the columns now, 
I don't know if any of that's going to be helpful. This 10, let's look at this 10 since we know that there's going to be five unshaded cells. We already have four of them here. So we, we only need one more unshaded uh, cell. So anything that's more than one cell tall, we know cannot be unshaded, right? If we unshade this, now all of a sudden we have too many unshaded cells. So all of these two or more tall regions have to be shaded in. So that's really helpful. Uh, let's see. So we only need two more here in this row because it's a four. So this three region cannot be shaded. Otherwise, we'd have too many shaded cells. That'd be five. So we can unshade that. Not sure how helpful that is for any other clues. Um, all right, so this five, we only need three more shaded ones. This is a four, it's too tall. That can't be shaded in, otherwise we'd have too many shaded cells. So that has to be unshaded. Now that's helpful because if we think about it, we need three more. There's no way to make three out of these two. Right, that would be too many or too few. So those are unshaded. This has to be shaded. So that, that column is now solved. Um, let's think about this. This seven row needs one more. We have six shaded in. We need one more. And so it's got to be one of these two. All of, oh, I guess that one too. I missed that. So all of these two wide ones have to be unshaded. Otherwise, we'd have too many shaded cells. So this six one, in a six, uh, for a 15 by 15, that would be nine unshaded cells. We already have nine unshaded cells. You can see, uh, so what's nice about this app is at the very bottom, um, actually, you know what, let me, let me make my screen a little smaller because I think it's cutting off that uh, bottom number. There you go. Now you guys should be able to see it. So you can see the nine at the bottom. That When you hover over the unshaded cells, it'll give you the count of the unshaded cells. Whereas if you hover over the dark squares, it gives you the count of the shaded cells. And if you hover over a blank cell, it gives you the count of the blank cells. So that's that's nice. It makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to do too much counting or math. So um, this column already has the nine unshaded cells indicated. So everything else has to be shaded in that column. So that's our six. So that's solved it. See, this is a really wide region here, but I don't think that helps us quite yet because we have three unshaded cells. We need nine. This would give us eight if we unshade that, so that's fine. That's that's not um, again, that's not useful. Here we need two more for this ten. Um, again, not not helpful. Not, uh, we need six more here. Yeah, so let's look at this. So the 10 has uh, three unshaded cells already indicated. We need two more unshaded cells to make it five. You know, right, 10 plus five is 15. So if we need two more unshaded cells, this is too many here for this three. So this has to be filled in. And now we need three more shaded cells. We have two regions of two. We need this one here for this, you know, to make it, that's that even odd uh, tip I was talking about earlier, right? So one of these two regions are going to be shaded in, but 
but we don't know which one, but we know for sure this one uh, cell needs to be shaded in. So we can shade that in. Okay, let's think about this. So this is interesting. So here for this eight, we need two more. If we shade in this region, we'd have to shade them all in. So that would be the two here. That would solve the eight. And it would spill over to the row above it, filling in one. That would be seven. And that would solve that as well. Uh, so that's interesting to know. But that isn't necessarily the answer because we can shade in this one and then say one of these oddball regions in the row above it. So that's not helpful, but that's a, a strategy or tactic to, to keep in mind. Because sometimes that is helpful to see how the, the spillover effect is. So this is interesting, this nine row, we need six unshaded cells. We already have five, so we just need one more. So all of these two, you know, this two region, this can't be unshaded. Otherwise, we'd have too many unshaded. So this has to be shaded in. Hmm. Okay, so this six, we have five in this column already shaded for this six column. So we need one more. So anything more than one has to be unshaded. And I think that's it. So all of these are just one cell areas. It's helpful now because if you think about this six row at the top, if you count all of the cells that are outside of this large region here, that's one, two, three, four, five. There's not enough. So this large region has to be shaded in. That's five. So you can't shade in this two now because that would be seven. That would be too many. Now what? From there. Okay, so this is interesting. This 10 row, we need five unshaded. We already have four, so we need just one more. We can't have more than that. So this two and this two and this two and this two, all of these have to be shaded in, right? Otherwise, we have too many unshaded. And that actually solves it because that's 10 now. So we can unshade this one. And that solving this one spilled over to the row above it and solved for the six so now we can unshade these this uh, this actually helped the last column now we need one more that's this there's only one more that exists now this five row uh, we have three shaded in we just need two more so this region's too many that has to be unshaded This 11 uh, row, we need four more. There's only four more that exist, so all of those have to be shaded. And a lot of those spilled down, so you can see this is a six. We need two more. Well, that doesn't help because it could be these two singles or it could be these two, uh, one of these two doubles, so that doesn't help. Um, A little bit of a wall here. Gotta keep looking to see what am I missing. Too many. Okay. 
Okay, so this column, this is this is this is going to be helpful. So we need six shaded ones. We already have five, so we just need one more. So anything more than two tall um, have to be unshaded. Oh, this 10 is 10 solved now. So this column already has 10 shaded in. So this one can't be shaded. And that's going to solve this seven row because there needs to be one more. There's only one cell left. So, and that spilled down to solve this eight. So we can unshade that. Um, that is helpful. Now we need five more in this eight row. And there's no way to make five without this three. Right, we have six cells left. Uh, so this three needs to be in and this two pairs with that three. So this oddball cell is not shaded. Mm. All right, so we're getting close here. We're starting to unravel it. Um, so this 10 only has three cells left and we need all three of them to be shaded. So we can do that. There's eight needs one more. Uh, there's three, so that's not helpful. Hmm. Okay, so we need one more in uh, in this row of five here. So anything more than one has to be unshaded. So it could be one of these three. Okay, we need one more for this row of four. So anything more than one can be unshaded. So it's gonna be one of these three here. And I think that, yeah, one, one, you can see some of these regions spilled upwards towards the five. And so now there's only one cell left. We need that to be shaded. That solves that five and it solved the six. So if you look at the column we're in, we have six shaded in. So everything else in that column is unshaded. That's really helpful because the six is now forced in the six row, the second from the bottom. That spilled over uh, and helped us on the nine, but we're still not sure if it's this last cell or this cell for the ninth one. What are we missing? So we need this four uh, column, there's three cells left, uh, and there's a two region. It has to be that one. Otherwise, that's not going to total. So this is not shaded. This six, no, that's not helpful. So we need one more here. So this two region cannot be shaded. Three more are needed for this nine column, and there's only three left, so all of those are shaded. We need three more in this nine row, and the only way to make three is if this two is filled in, right? Because there's not enough singles, so you need this double to be shaded in. So we do that. This three now, we just need one more. So this region of two is too many, so we unshade that. Um, the six needs two more. Out of the three, it has to be the double. This uh, eight row just needs one more, so it can't be the double, it has to be the single. This seven needs one more, it can't be the double. The nine uh, needs two more, and there's only two left, so that solves that row, and it's it's spilled one above it, so that solved the seven. So these two can be unshaded, and uh, I think we're getting very close to the end here. So this three needs one more. There's only one left, so there's that. That solves the nine, the nine row, so that's unshaded. This one is still missing. 
Okay, so this nine solved, this column, this column already has nine shaded cells, so that last one can't be shaded in. That leaves just one more here, which solves the one row, and it solves the eight column as well, so that's unshaded. This nine needs one more. Uh, this six column is solved, so the one above it's unshaded. That leaves just one cell left in the puzzle. That has to be shaded. That solves both the four and the eight. Um, and if we look at it, it's created a nice little picture. It looks like a woman drinking a cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. Again, it's challenging. It's one of the harder ones. I, I definitely spend a little bit more time solving these puzzles than most. Um, and, and the app has rather large puzzles. So the bigger ones obviously take a little bit more time. Um, of all of the shading puzzles, this is probably the most time consuming one. So if you, um, but what's nice is they, they save your progress so you don't have to solve it all at once. You know, obviously if you're 10 minutes into it and you need to take a break, you can set it down and come back to it. Uh, it'll pause your, your time if you're solving for speed. So anyways, I do enjoy it. I hope you did too. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks everyone. Have a good night.